Good luck, boys. Ugh, nothing. All right, was the last commentary clip because girlfriend has gone to bed, so we can't be quiet now. <clears throat> All right, boys, this is about to be the final kill for tonight. Gonna take a little break after this, but... Oh, no drops, but that is the achievement. Yay. So that is really nice to get right there. That should be a juicy tree crest. Yep. Oh man, you love to see it. Not the best loot from this terror session, but it also definitely ain't the worst. Or crest. Oh yeah, we got a crest piece tree from Chasm, so we can even make another full one. Why not? Sell those for like 3.54 bill each. I guess we'll keep the imbue stones for now. We got five of them though, damn. That isn't a meteorite cape, then I don't know what is. I just don't have the infernal shit. Um, and huge casket. I guess I could go ahead and open a few of those, or just all of them. Not particularly keen on saving every bit of Chasm Quaker loot right now. I'd rather make some money. Let's see what we get. 861 is good. Decent. The minimum is 500, the highest is 1 bill as a reminder. All of them are above the average, so that's actually pretty damn good. A little bit of money right there. And then we can chuck all of these crests in the trading post. Let's have a look at what they are going for right now. Wow. More than expected. The fuck? Interesting. I thought it would be less than 4 bill. Look at that. One hour ago, 4.5 each. Let's try. gentlemen good morning <laughs> it's a brand new day uh, ended up selling those tarot metal shots last night for a very very nice price I didn't expect to make so much money so quickly from it let's see if anything else has sold overnight oh some stuff most certainly has the draconic plate and legs as well as all of the crest I did end up deciding to chuck the draconic in there because honestly I don't really use it uh, but still Heavily undercutting, even though the last helm sold for, you know, 13 bill. Could have definitely gotten more for it, but I'll match it, whatever. Dragon Scheme to R is going to be the hardest to sell, but so be it. Um, I don't use it. I thought it was a fine idea at first, maybe for raids in the future, blah, blah, blah. I don't use it. Right now, as things currently are, just finishing full executioner and using that for 90% of the shit I do will be fine. I think in terms of raids in the future, I think I just want to get like... Chase and I in a chasm bow and maybe even crest fruit at some point and just use range into ancient gods or ornament specs honestly and use the chasm bow to get special attack back for those of you that don't know the chasm bow every time you deal I believe 200 damage with the bow you get 10% special attack back so combine it with potential special attack pads um, stuff like galvanic boots you can get a shitload of specs off uh, special mods inside the raid all of that crap you can just almost non-stop be spamming <laughs> the Ancient Gods or the Ornament, so that's kind of what I wanted to aim for instead. And range is just really good for other shit as well. Um, next in the future, all of that. So that's kind of going to be the next goal there. The very first thing I want to do now that we have a mighty fine cash stack again, with so much stuff sold, is try and get our hands on a Shazian set. Try and buy full Shazian Eye, just for like future Hydra, Vorkaf, we gotta do the Vorkaf achievements. I think there's two of them. Like 150 kills or something? God, I actually don't know. Yeah, two of them, 150 kills. Yeah, correct. So getting Shazian for that is gonna be nice. Dragon Hunter Lance Eye would be amazing, but that's probably not gonna happen anytime soon. So I think I'll just get like a Fang of the Beast. We already have a Berserker Blessing. Spec it a little bit, go for the Ancient God, start to finish it off, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how much HP Vorkat is from the top of my head. I think it's like a thousand or something stupid. So just spamming Aegis or alone is not gonna be enough. We'll find a way, we'll find a way. For now, let's go ahead and try and get our hands on a Shazian Eye set, just because I think that will 
you know, bring a lot of usage throughout everything. Might even use it for like the Monica Gorillas, uh, Abyssal Demons. It's literally best in slot. You can't go wrong with a Shazy and I set. All right, gonna buy this Shazy and I set for about 80 bill for the time being. He does want it back later, but that's fine. I think like quote unquote uh, borrowing items, but actually paying for it should be fine. Uh, it's kind of the same shit, ain't it? My cash tag goes down. It's not like I'm getting it for free and then I can use the cash to get other stuff in there at the same time. No, I'm basically buying a set. He just wants to buy it back later, so that should be fine. All right, so the reason I bought this is because I wanted to get started on the 4K achievements for now. Hydra, preferably once we get the second superior bug so we can actually profit from it more. But we need to kill it 150 times. I think the Fang of the Beast and the Ancient Gods are going to do most of the work. But I do think it would be smart to have some sort of weapon to just fucking finish it off with at the end. I noticed the Shadowrun Sword is dumb cheap. 7.25 bill. What a ridiculously cheap price. Now I know it's not like the best fucking weapon in the game. But goddamn, it ain't bad. Especially with Executioner Boots and Gloves. But I think that will do for now. And we still have a nice little 10 bill left over. Alright, finally got myself a Vorkev task for the extra drop rate. I think we're good to go. Honestly, it's kind of impressive what our gear is already looking like. I'm kind of happy with that. Rendering Eye is definitely something we need to work on soon. Um, 150 Vorkevs. I only have 203 Epic Lux, but hopefully we can make a bit of money here. Oh, they changed the teleport location. I completely forgot about that. That is such a big fucking improvement right there. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and Infernal Elixir for this as well, because it speeds it up a lot. Maybe even Wander Elixir. Because Vorkev actually does have quite a bit of good loot, if you ask me. And Draconic goes for quite a bit, especially if we can get the helmet or make it into shots and stuff like that. So, Vorkev had is a good one. Let's go ahead and see what happens uh, in 150 kills. You know what? I'll even be extra kind and go ahead and track that ship. Mm. Yeah, let's get rid of demonic fire watches. What does it look like right now? 1564 kills for 11 shots. Fucking juicy. It hurts to remove this, but yeah, whatever. I want to be able to track what we're currently doing at the very least, and Terror and Chasm is still something we are working on both. Does this work from here? Track loot 4 Yes sir, 150 kills, let's get it. I'm gonna just show you guys the first kill, just to give you a bit of an idea. I'm not even entirely sure what I should expect myself here, but we're about to find out. As you can see, specs quite high, that is the power of uh, elixirs right there. Yeah, Infernal with the Wanderer elixir. I feel the last pack though. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. Bang of the Beast with the Berserker Blessing. Without the Blessing, you're gonna see significantly less hits, but when you have it, fucking amazing. This thing is always a bit annoying. I try to kill it, but generally speaking, I prefer if it just explodes on me, because then it instantly dies and he instantly becomes attackable again. And if you kill it, you actually have to wait like another few ticks before Warcraft takes damage again. Trash on the first kill, but that's fine. Wait. Oh, I didn't bring my looting bag. Well, that's a whoopsie. Let's grab that real quick and then we'll continue. Yeah, okay, I just specced 132 with the Ancient God Sword. That speeds it up a lot. Just at the very end, get a little God Sword spec in to finish it. Oh, and just like with Chasm, I just bring a Brock Egg now. Kill it, kill myself. You can actually do that now. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Weakness Potion and teleport right back into it. This should not even be that much of a grind, honestly. This is ridiculous. Boss. Oh, we just got a 3k C Dragon Ball necklace. Ha, <laughs> that's a lovely start. Can't complain about that one. I don't think it's worth that much, but a 3k C, I don't think we have the right to complain about literally any drop. Oh, I just specced 156, and then the 250 comes in. That's a 400, oh, that's over 400 damage. I know I'm fully elixir and shit, but that's just nuts to me. Damn, bro, I'm actually having a great fucking time here at Vorkev. It's so weird. Because I really, last time I did it on MGI, I fucking hated it, and now it's like, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> because by this account standards, it is fucking amazing. Bro, look, uh, oh, it turned off my prayer at the wrong, it doesn't even matter, because it's still gonna die to it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. How fast is that? 17 seconds? I know you can get like 8 second kills with claws, uh, but even that isn't like every single kill, trust me. Done, been there, done that, but uh... This is pretty damn nice. Okay, I think I've mentioned it enough. I'll see you guys when we get an actual drop now. It's just so addicting. Fuck, we got another necklace at 7k seed. <laughs> what? Now I'm kind of starting to wonder what they're worth, because that is a little crazy. Okay, it's, it's worth less than 300 mils. 
but who cares. Holy mother of god, I just specced a 211 with the Ancient God Sword. Jesus, that's a 260 damage special attack. And you get a swing off in between those hits. That's nutty to me, bro. I know I'm fucking an Infernal and Wanderer Elixir, and you're not always gonna be that. But the fact that they can hit so high... Yeah, that was a smooth one. 13 seconds, not bad. Right, just gonna mention this just for the few people that might not know. In case you're wondering why I'm not taking any fire damage, it's simply because the Grand Elixir has an Elixir of Dragon in it, and that gives full fire, dragon fire protection, basically. Um, keep in mind, though, that uh, it won't give lava fire protection against stuff like, uh, what are they called? Like the lava and froze dragons, I believe, use it. Stuff like that, anyway. But uh, for things like Vorkath, just using a Grand Elixir is the best in my opinion. Oh, we just got a huge casket and another necklace in the same kill. Not the best drops, we'll take it. Oh, back to back into a skeletal visage. Nice log item, I guess. Oh, look, it's a draconic shard, literally back to back. That's hilarious because I yelled, fuck log, give me some draconic stuff. Appreciate it. <laughs> literally back to back drops as I asked for it. Wow. And as for, I think that's the helmet as well. Alright, well, I'm pretty happy about that. I think the helm is the only piece, like, really worth... Whoa, hit, so... The only piece really worth making compared to everything else where I'm probably... What the fuck? The worst specs I've hit in all this time. 214 AGS or though, what the fuck? Um, yeah, I think I can sell the helm for at least, like, 8 to 10 bill. But shards will probably sell for a bit less. If we get the plate by the legs pieces, though... I'm definitely grinding those into shots so we can maybe even make the Draconic Skimitar. At that point, maybe we'll try it out at something, I'm not sure, but... I think it's just more profit than selling the play buddy and legs as a piece, so to say. Back to back to back to back? No. <laughs> that would have been funny. Triple back to back is already pretty insane. Pretty good 4 luck, lock, I would say. Oh, there's got a little Dragon Crossbow that doesn't announce, but it is actually a lock slot, so we'll take that as well. Now, that seems to be the 50 KC mark, I'm guessing. At this rate, if we can get a pet, then the log isn't even that far-fetched. 